Hi guys, my name is Prakpal and welcome back in my new video. So in this video, we are going to discuss about how to design singly reinforced beam and doubly reinforced beam on your fingertips. In most of the scenario, we fail to do the design when we are at, at site. And due to that, we struggle and we do the manual calculations. Looking into that scenario, I have developed a tool which you can use from your mobile applications. Okay, you can use from your laptop, your iPad, your monitor, whatsoever the applications, the systems you have, you can easily use that, use that one free of cost. So before moving that applications from civilnotes.com from my website, I would like to ask you, please subscribe my YouTube channel. Because this YouTube channel, Parakpal, will definitely give you more insight about civil engineering and its advantages okay, over a period of time. Because this channel, I am preparing the lots of civil engineering stuff and project management videos and also going to provide you lots of courses which will definitely enhance your career. So, looking forward, okay, just subscribe my YouTube channel, right? So this beam design calculator, which is I'm going to provide you today, it's free of cost. Okay. And there is a, um, no, any cost that you need to bear. You just need to open my link, which is given in the description box, or you can come, you can visit my website, which is civilnotes.com. Okay. And once you come into this website, just click on the design calculator. Okay. And you can easily get the different types of design calculators, courses and lots of things on this website. But as of now, for this video, we are going to deal with design calculator. All right. So let's get into this. So this design calculator is deals with IS 456-2000 standard. In lots of video, you have seen that I am using the Indian standards because I am aware about, I have that knowledge for the design and design of the Indian standards. So if you are looking forward, if you are watching this video from outside of India and you want me to design your applications based upon the design and all, you always welcome and you can just drop the comment in the comment section. Okay. And provide me the insights of that. I'll definitely come up with the good example for, for all of you. Right. Okay. So now as we all know that guys that the beam designs the singly reinforced beam and the doubly reinforced beam are both are having the different different uh, significance okay in the construction industry because based upon the loading conditions and everything there's a various different classification has been made through the limit state of method design okay and the is code 2456 sorry 456 2000 apologies for that okay itself is gives a very good standard procedures they they define a standard procedures and come up with the proper ex, proper theory and the uh, formulas that definitely gives you very good procedures to execute the design of singly reinforced beam and doubly reinforced beam okay so prerequisite for this application would be the size of the uh, beam the movement and the share that you are you have okay only that things i have re i required to proceed with the design calculator tool so if you just go down on this web page you can see that there is a key parameter i have provided for the singly beam design which is the calculating the amount and distributions of the load on a beam is all known as a load calculations so it consists the material properties support conditions length of the beam between the support is known as spam span sorry the assess in the internal forces operating on the beam using the shear and movement forces and there we go we have defined the stages or steps to design the singly reinforced beam also you can see that i have provided some significance on the doubly reinforced beam such as for the construction with increased load bearing capacity and resistance to bearing movement doubly reinforced beam is crucial okay and there are some critical aspects and the design procedure I have mentioned here. I request you to please go through this. So it will definitely give you some good knowledge share. Okay. From my side. Right. Okay. So let's get, let's 
get into the calculator okay so now this calculator is something very unique itself because if you are using this one from your mobile so you can see this drag down scroll button over here so that's you just rotate in your landscape mode so you will definitely get the good uh, this view in your mobile right okay so as i said earlier this calculator itself is sufficient uh, to design the beam uh, singly reinforced beam and doubly reinforced beam so first of all you required some prerequisites such as width and depth okay concrete grade steel grade movement the clear cover that what you are going to provide and the shear and the shear strength okay the the shear force you required so these are the very basic parameters you required because definitely without that we can't any we can't design the uh, uh, we can design the beam right okay so let's give some input such as i have 350 mm of width of beam and the depth of 350 itself okay 370 let's give something different all right so so 370 let me just zoom in further okay all right okay so 350 mm is the width 370 is a depth and i'm providing the clear cover of 25 mm now i have a moment of 150 kilonewton into meter so you can see that once i update this one once i update the width depth and main reinforcement and also i'm going to provide the concrete grade as a 25 megapascal newton per mm square and fe4 and 5 steel which is the again newton per mm square so the this calculator described as i should go with the beam as a doubly reinforced beam design that sounds interesting right let me decrease the movement let me bring down to the 50 kilonewton per meter you can see it is defined you should go with the singly reinforced beam now as i mentioned above why the significance of the doubly reinforced beam comes into the picture that's what it is reflecting over here right the load bearing structures capacities and all all right so let's increase the movement of 200 mm 200 kilonewton into meter my bad okay so it's it's calculate the what are the type of the beam that we should design and the effect to depth and the movement criteria that's the limiting movement will calculate automatically now what these tables is defining okay this is something very unique so based upon the above inputs that we have provided this calculator is defining you that the area of steel in tension and compression should be with a minimum value of 1.83% or 0.694% and 0.694% right so the area of steel based upon the overall calculations of 1.830 in tension should be 2079 square mm and in compression it should be 788 square mm so this is a minimum criteria but what would be the maximum criteria so guys the maximum criteria would be the 4 percentage so if you can just see here let me just increase this stuff okay to the 15 a, a little bit value i'm increasing so you can see if your percentage this percentage is beyond four percentage this calculator will tell you that the still provided cannot be more than four percentage of cross section area so you should be within this limit 1.83 to the four percent only i hope you understand this right so now let's let's do the tension reinforcement bar so i am assigning 25 mm bar okay four numbers and 16 mm of bar okay 10 numbers so i have a very good significance of the uh, for the steel selection okay which is 3.499 so as per my application as per the design my steel calculation is quite good okay now let's come to the compression one so based upon the compression one i should be within the 788 square meter but if i can see here i need to provide 2 mm of bar over here and 16 mm of bar okay uh, 6 4 bar okay all right so i'm assigning 4 bar of 16 mm and 20 mm bar 2 mm or well, let me increase this 25 
no it's okay 20 mm so 0.69 and i am extensively increased to the 1.261 so my beam design is okay in the both compression and tension i can go with this now in coming to the beam dis shear design so it is totally depend on you you how you have calculated the shear force right so my shear force i have calculated 250 so based upon that i can only assign okay this much uh, percentage so i should assign the percentage of uh, percentage of steel okay within the limit of 4 percentage so i have assigned over here so let me assign the layer 1 of 25 mm okay and this is uh, 14 mm of bar all right right so you can see so i am providing the two legs type stirrups but if you want to provide four legs type stirrup so you can get the stirrup diameter you need to provide 10 mm so you can see the get the spacing of 418 center to center so this is what i have done and i hope this calculator will definitely help you okay to solve your day-to-day -day problems which gives the very good insight that what should be the design based upon the your input so you can take that functions dimensions okay and think about it what would be the design at the end of your construction right i hope you like this like this calculator and you want to and you want to uh, explore more topics for the civil engineering and project management i would suggest you just go through the one of the tabs because i have lots of courses over here such as estimation project management maxo project autocad Tramavera okay e tab start provision the free of course and rest of them are paid one okay also you can just go to the exam notes you can download you can go to the visit download section okay and you will definitely get lots of stuff for the house plans submission drawings and even there's a something interesting one if you are if you are interested in the learning of dashboards please drop me the uh, comment in the comment section because I'm providing this kind of dashboards to you the construction project assets task based dashboards okay project performance dashboards and everything and this is something quite unique in the uh, in today industry right I hope you like this video okay don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel okay and click the link in the description box to use this calculator right away I hope you like this video guys have a nice day bye bye